Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, I hope you're doing well. This is gonna be a very just casual video. Um, I think a lot of times I'm focused on like post-processing and editing and things of that nature and I was just hoping to do a little more casual format, just talk about some of the things that I'm using and I'm, I'm loving. But what I wanna talk about today is the Fujifilm 16 to 55 2.8 lens um, and just why it's my absolute favorite lens. I, I just, I get so much joy from this lens and if you know anything about me, um, prior to switching back to Fuji, I was shooting uh, the Leica system. I had the M10 and then I also had the Leica QP um, and then prior to that I was shooting Canon. I had the 5D Mark IV and I absolutely loved all of those cameras. Um, but for me, Fujifilm has been just the best experience. It really resonates with what I do and what I try to capture. And I just love the ergonomics and the hand in the hand and just the feel of the camera. Um, but in getting back into Fujifilm, I bought the X-T4, which I'm recording on now. Um, it's a remarkable camera. It's just the most, just fantastic camera. Um, I do see myself adding on an additional X-Pro2 maybe again, because I had that before and I just love that camera. Uh, it's one of my favorites of all time. But um, back to the lens. This lens is absolutely remarkable. I can't say enough good things. It's almost like a sleeper because a lot of folks don't really talk about it. I know it's not a prime lens, which seems to be like very sought after, but having the flexibility of shooting from 16 to 55, which if you don't know, that translates to about, I think 24 to 84 on like a 35 millimeter sensor. But that, that flexibility is huge. I can keep that one lens in my bag and really just capture so much. And also like just create a more dynamic feel to the shoots that I'm doing. Um, and for me, a lot of what I do is capturing food photography, which is very much on the fly, um, like throughout my day to day and the work that I do and also still life at home. Um, it gives me a chance to really, you know, hone in on where I wanna be, my, my, um, my imagery and also just like how I, how I frame it up and everything. Um, and it just, it just makes it for a, a really nice experience to do so. Um, some highlights of the lens in particular. So there is an 18 to 55 by Fuji that's it's also great. It's a kit lens. Um, it's not gonna have the build quality of this lens. You're not gonna have the same success with it, I don't think. But what you get here is a 2.8 fixed aperture lens all the way through. So all the way through to 55, you're gonna get that amazing crisp 2.8. And then what you also get is the sharpness across the board, which you don't see in that 18 to 55. But from uh, edge to edge of the whole frame, it's just like, boom, locked in. That's all the way down to 2.8 even. So um, there are some reviews out there that show a little more detail on that, but I can speak firsthand that it's just gorgeous, man. I, I just love this lens. Um, the build quality, I will say, is just, it's next to none. I think that it's fantastic. It's more, um, I think it's more easy to use than some other, you know, like uh, 24 to 70 style lenses. Um, the aperture rings are beautiful. It is weather resistant as well, so you can expect to enjoy it for years to come and also in the most extreme conditions. And then lastly, the size, I suppose. So it's worth noting that this is a big lens. <laughs> it's not small. Um, if you're shooting on a smaller body, like again, the X-Pro2 or X-E4 that just came out, you might find that it's pretty heavy, and as far as the balance, it might seem a little off, but if you're, if you're like me, I came from shooting a Canon 5D Mark IV, which is a huge monster with the battery grip, it almost feels like more natural for me to have a lens of this size. So it's worth making note though, if you are a street shooter, that you might, while loving the lens, you might also experience a little fatigue with the hand, or just you're not as you're not as discreet perhaps as you would be with like a 23 point or a two or a 23 1.4 if that makes sense. But I, I truly think this is the best Fuji lens, especially for what I do. Um, I think as far as next steps for me, I'd love to look at the 50 to 140. Um, hoping to get that into the budget here soon. But uh, also I'd love to get an 80 macro. Um, those are looking beautiful for me, both for macro photography, but also for you know portraiture and things of that nature. But I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all those things. And I hope to see you again. We'll do it soon. Thanks y'all.